U.S. urges Russia to withdraw troops from Ukraine. The United States said that Russia should acknowledge reality and withdraw its troops to end the conflict in Ukraine after 10 months. In a meeting with defense leaders on December 22, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia wanted to end the conflict in Ukraine as soon as possible. Russia's goal is not to turn the wheel of military conflict, but on the contrary, to end this war. We will try to end this, and of course as soon as possible, Putin said. Speak. Reacting to this comment of the Kremlin owner, a U.S. State Department spokesman said on December 23, the next step is to acknowledge the fact, we urge Russia to end this conflict by withdraw troops from Ukraine. On the same day, White House spokesman John Kirby said that U.S. President Joe Biden is ready to negotiate with his counterpart Putin on Ukraine, but only after Moscow is serious about negotiations and after Washington consults Ukraine. And allies. On the Kremlin side, spokesman Dmitry Peskov yesterday further explained, President Putin's statement that he wants to quickly end hostilities in Ukraine does not mean the prospect of negotiations, but the prospect of achieving the stated objectives. During the military campaign in Ukraine, there is no connection involved in negotiations. Of course, all conflicts end at the negotiating table. But at present the prospect of ending the conflict in Ukraine as soon as possible is mainly through Russia has achieved its goals, Peskov was quoted as saying by the Ukrainian Pravda News Agency. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has entered its 11th month, but peace talks have been deadlocked since late March, even as both sides insisted they were still open to negotiations to end hostilities. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky yesterday outlined his diplomatic priorities for 2023. These priorities include starting negotiations for Ukraine's accession to the European Union (EU), preparing for the NATO conference, and advancing agreements. Agreement to restore the energy system. However, Zelensky did not make negotiations with Russia a diplomatic goal, instead urging ambassadors to step up efforts to impose sanctions on Moscow. In his address to the U.S. Congress on the occasion of a surprise visit to Washington on December 21, he also called on the U.S. to continue to provide weapons to Ukraine and tighten sanctions on Russia. Russia brought the Fire Dragon S-400 to Belarus. Sputnik quoted Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Gluzin today as saying that Russia has delivered S-400 air defense systems and Iskander missiles to Belarus to strengthen their joint defense. The Belarusian military has received modern Russian weapons including the S-400 system and Iskander short-range ballistic missiles. These weapons will help improve the Belarusian army's combat capabilities as well as its efficiency. Of the joint Russian-Belarusian air defense system, Gluzin stressed. He also affirmed that Russia's training of Belarusian fighter pilots is a commensurate response to NATO activities. On the other hand, Mr. Galuzin said, the accusation that Russia and Belarus can deploy joint forces to participate in the military operation in Ukraine is not true. The task of the Russian-Belarusian military synergy, if any, is to repel potential enemies in the event that the territory of Belarus is invaded, the Russian diplomat explained. Belarus is a close ally of Russia but its officials have repeatedly said it will not get involved in the conflict in Ukraine. In recent weeks, Russia has been trying to increase its military presence on the border between Belarus and Ukraine, fueling speculation that Moscow may launch a new offensive into Ukraine through Belarus. However, Ukraine's military intelligence director Kirill Obudinov said that this may be Russia's diversionary plan to lure Ukraine to shift resources from the Eastern Front to the North so that Moscow can be more favorable in its plan to control the entire country the whole Donbass region. Mr. Budinov said that the risk of Russia attacking from Belarus is very low, but not completely ruled out. 